All right, Shalom. Before I get started, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, Bashem Rakah Kadash, the Wanis, to the elders and the apostles at Great Millstone, who do rule and teach well. Peace, blessings, salutations, as always, to the hopefully elect out there, listening and learning, keeping the faith of our Lord Yahushah until we are redeemed. So, the title of this lesson is Our Testimony is Sure. All right, which really this is not our testimony. This is the testimony of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. But we have been given the spirit to understand the testimony, to proclaim the testimony, and also have faith and believe upon it through the Rakat Gadash, through the spirit. You know, that's why in these days, um, while the world is in darkness, while the world is in madness, we have our right mind. You know, we are focused on the will of the Lord. You know, while the rest of these people, they hear that, um, you know, Iran launched missiles on Israel yesterday. People start losing their mind. People are worried about, oh, nuclear war, this, that, the third, World War Three. I need to buy supply. Yo, people out there panic buying right now. You know, people out there panic buying. They, they, they hoarding guns and ammo, okay? They doing all kind of stuff, man. You know, all out of fear, okay? Uh, really fear of the unknown, you know? But being afraid of what's coming in this earth is 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 really tied to you know not being plugged in with Yahweh Bashem all right because if you were plugged in with the Lord you would understand that these things must be you would understand that these things must happen for the sake of prophecy all right for the will of the Lord to be fulfilled but right now even though you're seeing all these uh nations rising up against nation uh you're seeing um, troops being moved here, troops being moved there. You're seeing the wars and the rumors of wars. You're seeing the earthquakes, all these things. Of course, these these things are a sign of the end. But Yahweh Shah told us in Matthew 24 that the end is not yet. You know, so us being in the know, we understand what comes next. You know, we understand that eventually World War Three is going to pop off, which really we're in. You can really say that we're already in World War Three. You know, it just hasn't got to the point where it's it's been declared as official. But whenever you look at these world wars or, or, or certain conflicts, it starts off as a buildup. You know, it's not just war it just happens overnight. No, there's a buildup of uh, situations and uh, things that occur that eventually leads to a broader global conflict. So this is what we're seeing in today's time. You know, but these people are dismayed. You know, these people have no idea they have no faith they don't believe in anything really what they believe in is carnality you know they they they're trusting in uh being a prepper you know they're trusting in um guns and ammo you know they're they're trusting in being smarter or or, or, or being faster or more physically fit than the next person you know uh, hey and look i'm not saying that none of those things won't help you but at the end of the day that's not just saving grace because food is not bringing destruction upon the earth all right guns and ammo is is not bringing destruction that's that's being used as a medium to uh, uh fulfill these things but ultimately who's bringing the the destruction upon the earth it's yahweh bashim yahushai so if you understand that the lord is bringing these things wouldn't it be wise to seek the lord that you you know and and, and uh pray that you be exempt from the from the judgment that's what would we'll be wise to do but everybody's not wise everybody's not been endowed with the wisdom from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, which that wisdom comes from on high, man. You see what I'm saying? This is why the Lord is really only dealing with a small sanctuary. The Lord is not dealing with the, the masses of the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, you got you got guys out here that's, you know, dealing with Kemet, and they dealing with uh, Islam and uh, Zoroastrianism and then Buddhism and all these different philosophies and, 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 and uh, doctrines, okay? Which really, those, those really hold no weight in this time. You know, the when you look at what's going on in the earth, it all goes back to the scriptures, man. It all goes back to the Bible. You see what I'm saying? No, you know, nobody's going to the to the Quran and trying to find prophecy in there. See, see, you see, look, the Quran talked about this. So now, no, nah, ain't, ain't nobody doing that, man. You know, people are going into the Holy Scriptures, okay? Because this is where the words of testimony are found, man. You see? And everybody can't understand that. Like, you actually got these uh, uh, guys that believe upon or, or that practice uh, 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 Kemet, you know? They actually believe that 
and this is this is bugged out, you know. But they actually believe that um, one of their gods, you know, busted a nut, you know, pretty much in the in the Nile River, and, and this is how life was created. You know, what I'm saying like you have these certain doctrines out here that men believe upon, but ultimately, what is that? That's ultimately the Lord, uh, 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 you know, blinding those that believe not the truth. Because whether you in Kemet, whether you in Islam. Whether even even if you're in Christianity, right? You've you've heard about the truth of the of the Hebrew Israelites. All right, you've seen brothers on the streets, you've seen brothers on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, there is gonna be no excuse as to why you continued on in your folly and and your madness. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately we understand it all works towards the bigger picture that Yahweh Bashim Shai has has set up uh, uh, certain doctrines to be present in the last days that those who believe not the truth will ultimately fall into these things and be destroyed for their own delusion you know what i'm saying but let me let me go here you know let me let me go to um psalms 19 and let's start at verse 6 it says his going forth is from the end of he of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Verse 7. The law of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. See, so the testimony of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, is sure, man. And how do we know that it's sure? We can look out into the world and we can observe these things. You know, we can look out into the world and we can see. Yeah, there are wars going on. Yeah, um, there are rumors of wars taking place. Yeah, there are many earthquakes happening in many different or diverse places around the earth. You see what I'm saying? So this is a faith booster for the true believers because we see that what we believe upon, even before we saw these things, you know what I'm saying? Even before we saw all of what's happening now, we believed upon the testimony. You know what I'm saying? So seeing these things now is, is producing more faith unto us you know what i'm saying it's increasing our spirit it's increasing our faith to let us know that what we believe upon all along has been the truth you know what i'm saying regardless of what anybody else may say or or you know gainsayers or scoffers or mockers may come and say man like we understand that our testimony is sure all right and and uh, you know uh another thing about it you know you have christianity you have islam these other false doctrines false religions false beliefs right well you your 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 faith uh the reason why the christian church is dying I, i'm not even gonna say dying like the christian church is pretty much dead and it has been for years now but the reason why christianity and these other religions have not uh, uh produced fruit and, and and have not really flourished like that is because they're all lies okay you 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 cannot um build faith off of believing in lies you can only build faith by believing upon the truth you see because when you believe upon lies lies are not built upon a strong foundation prime example right esau the so-called white man his whole society his whole rulership was built upon lies man and guess what now that the truth is coming out against this man now he got to do damage control he got to ban uh, uh, you know, he, 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 he's trying to cut off the internet. He's trying to ban the Bible, pass certain laws and legislation that are anti-truth. Okay. What, uh, what do, what do you, what do you think, um, crit critical race theory is all about, which really is critical race, historical facts, you know, shout out to the elder Mal, uh, Mal Malcolm Ma, you know what I'm saying? Critical race, historical facts is a channel that he goes into these certain things. But this is what Esau and the powers that be want to ban because why? Their foundation was not built upon truth. Their foundation was built upon lies. This is why you have many heathen around the world as pursuant to uh, Jeremiah 16 and 19. But what? They're all coming out on, on TikTok, different platforms, and they're exposing the lies that their forefathers have taught them. You know what I'm saying? And it says in Jeremiah 16 and 19 that our fathers have inherited us lies and things wherein there is no profit, man. So the things that they've inherited from their fathers, all the lies that was not built upon a sure foundation, these things are crumbling now. And guess what? One thing about it, when lies uh, uh, begin to be exposed, those who believed upon those lies are made to look foolish. Those who believed upon those lies are devastated because their whole foundation crumbles beneath them. You know what I'm saying? And let me let me get this. There will be one moment. Let me jump here. This is uh, Matthew chapter 7 
in uh, verse 24, it says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Right? So if you hearken to the words of Yahweh Shai, which what? The testimony of Yahweh Shai is that of what? Prophecy. Okay? The prophets of old, you know, in uh, the, the, the Old Testament, they all prophesied of the coming of Yahweh Shai and what he would do. You see what I'm saying? So they spoke the truth. So when Yahweh Shai came and fulfilled what the prophets wrote of him, that justified the true believers. You know what I'm saying? That that boosted, you know, their faith and our faith in this time today even more. Because once again, we see that what we believe upon is happening. Okay? No one could come and scoff and gainsay against what we're saying because we can show you the receipts. We can show you the truth uh, uh uh the truth. You know, these these other people out here that believe upon these different things they can't do that all they can do is talk or they can show you some kind of pseudo science that was created by the so-called white man or, or or some bugged out you know organization or you know whatever it may be but it's not based upon the truth you know and, and a lot of these other doctrines yeah they they do have truth in it you know what i'm saying which in order to tell a good lie you have to insert a little bit of truth in there to make it believable but you know what i'm saying Overall, it's not the truth, so therefore it cannot stand. You see what I'm saying? I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock, verse 25. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not. Why did this house not fall? Because it was built upon a solid foundation, it was built upon truth, right? But let's read on. Verse 26 And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell, and great was the fall of it. You see, so all these people, man, that, that put their trust, put their stock into lies and falsehood. Look, look at look at the people that took the, uh, the, uh, the um, what's the word? I'll just say the juice, right? Look at the people that took the juice. They trusted in lies. They trusted in vanity. And look at what happened. Look, look at what's happening and has happened to them. You know, many of them are, are now coming down with cancer, you know, turbo cancer, as they call it, which is a very aggressive, um, rapid spreading form of cancer that is pretty much incurable. You know what I'm saying? Many, many people, you know, went back to the spirit world immediately after taking it. And we've seen millions, okay, going back to the spirit world right now behind that man that's what happens when you trust in lies and vanity that's what happens when you put your trust upon something that um upon sand right it's like you build a house of cars right you can build that house of cars and and, and as long as the conditions are favorable for that house of cars to stand because a house of cars is not built upon a solid foundation okay it's 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 loose all you got to do is blow on it or like it says in uh, the scripture, rain descend, the winds blow, and what what's going to happen? That house of cards is going to fall over. Everything is going to be destroyed. All right, that's how these people are <laughs> that do not believe upon the testimony of Yahweh Bashemel Shai. But the true believers, those of us that um, are inclined and have you, you know came back unto the truth, they they rehearse the righteous acts that are seeking Yahweh Bashemel Shai to the best of our ability. Our foundation is that of a rock it's solid it's not going nowhere man no matter what adversity comes at us we're going to still stand <laughs> because our foundation is a solid one it was built upon the truth and the testimony of yahweh by shimei you see second peter chapter 1 verse 19 we also have we also so like we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto ye do dwell that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart so yeah we have a more sure word of prophecy man you know we have the breakdown we have the playbook you see what i'm saying the people in this world they don't know what's going on they don't have the playbook to anything they just out here living life just happy go lucky not a care in the world even though hell is going on all around them See what I'm saying? But the Lord is not 
giving them the spirit to understand. The Lord is not giving them the spirit to believe because ultimately the Lord is not dealing with everybody, man. That's the point. This truth is really only for a small sanctuary. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and really what you have now is you have a lot of, uh, you know, bandwagon Israelites. Okay, now I'm not saying bandwagon as, as and that's a bad thing because you should be on the bandwagon for your Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the best place to be because you're, you know, when 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 all hell breaks loose, you know what I'm saying? You're you're still gonna have your mind intact. You know, uh, the scriptures say that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding shall be the stability of that time. So this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding makes us stable. Whereas the people in this world that don't have it, they are unstable. They bugging out as we speak. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, our prophecy, you know, we, we, we have a more sure word of prophecy. Okay, meaning that what we believe upon, even before we saw these things take place, you know, we read the scriptures, we studied to show ourselves approved, and yeah, we believe that these things would come. You know, so we believed upon these things wholeheartedly, man. Okay, without actually seeing it. You know what I'm saying? Now, these people, they're not going to believe until they see these things come to pass. You know what I'm saying? But back to the point I was saying about the bandwagon Israelites, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have a lot of a lot of jakes that come into this thing. And because this Israelite movement is gaining more uh, uh, traction, you know, um, it's gaining more momentum as we get closer to the end. A lot of a lot of Israelites want to come into this thing just to be a part of something. You know what I'm saying? Like they want to come into this thing because they see that it's becoming popular. But when it wasn't popular, you shied away from it. You 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 stayed away from the truth. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these guys that are coming in are not really sincere and about the Lord. And, and you can tell. You know what I'm saying? Because these guys are, are not spiritual. They're they're all about uh, being carnal. You know what I'm saying? Talking about carnal solutions that, or, or they're about money or, you know, they're they're just not feeding the flock as they should, man. You know what I'm saying? So you can tell who's sincere and, and who's not in this thing. But yeah, you, listen, you have a lot of bandwagon Israelites that are in this thing for the wrong reasons. And the scriptures actually talk about people like that to say that there are certain men crept in uh, unawares. That have turned the truth of Yahweh Bashmir Shah into lasciviousness, man. Which means that they, you know, they've taken the truth and they've turned it to something that is uh uh unprofitable, man. You know, they've taken it and, and, and they've pretty much soiled it. You know, which that that's what niggas do. You know, niggas come in and whatever was pure, they they just muddy it up. You know, they 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 just dirty it up, man, because that's the nature of a nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what niggas do. But nonetheless, th th this is what you have. But ultimately, ev even them, they're, they're all going to perish, man. Because whether you want to call yourself an in, in, uh, Israelite, listen, if you're not doing the work, the Most High knows your heart, man. Like the Most High knows why you're in this thing. The Most High understands what you're all about, you know? You can put on a front for men, you know what I'm saying? Like you you, you, you can go before men and, and, and say one thing, but behind closed doors, you doing another. The Lord sees everything that you're doing, man. You know, so it's it's important that you know every you know every man and woman work out their own salvation. You know what I'm saying? Because another brother can't save you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be, you know what I'm saying, be on your uh P's and Q's, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have to understand it's true that you're walking on thin ice, especially now being so close to the end. Now is not the time to be, you know, going off teaching false doctrine and and, and trying to uh, create your own way to salvation. No, man, there's only one way. And Yahweh Shah is the door that leads to life, man. Yahweh Shah is the door that leads to salvation and life everlasting, right? Psalm uh, 96 and uh, verse four, it says, for the Lord, Yahweh Bashmiel Shah is great and greatly to be feared. He is to be feared above all gods. Verse five, for all gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord, Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, made the heavens. Verse 6, honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Salakia, give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Right? So like I mentioned earlier about all these different philosophies, right? 
all the gods of the other nations, Buddha, Allah, um, you know, Krishna, Vunu, uh, uh, Amin, Amin Ra, you know, all, all these other other gods are idols, man. You see, but only Yahweh Bashmi Shah created the heavens and the earth. There's only one true and living God. You see, and, and, and people have this idea that they can find their own way to salvation. You know what I'm saying? People think that there's many ways to find the most high, which that's not the case. The, the scriptures teach it. There's only one way, man. Okay? That there's only one straight gate that leads to righteousness and ultimately salvation. These other people, the world has taught them, because, you know, we, we understand that this world is, is under the vibration of Satan. So Satan come with that do as thou wilt philosophy. Satan comes with that... Um, uh, there is there there's more than one way to heaven doctrine you know what i'm saying which, which these are blasphemous new age philosophies that are not profitable see all these things really lead to death see but the scriptures say that there's a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof is death and destruction and this is what you're seeing many people fall into in these times man see many people can't even get out their own way many people are just you know, straight up believing upon falsehoods that they believe is going to save them because that's what they've been taught or that's what they've been convinced of in their own minds. Okay, which again, if you have found the truth of Yahweh Bashem Washai, then you should really count it as a huge blessing because you you made it through all the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like you you really made it through everything that could have led you to destruction, man. So the fact that you're here and the and the you know the Lord and that you're seeking the Lord and that, and that you're sincere, that's a, hey, that's a huge blessing right there. Like that's more than what most people can can uh say. Uh second Corinthians four and verse three it says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And majority of the people on this earth, including two thirds of Israelites, are lost. They don't they don't know what they don't know where they're going. They don't know where they're at. They just out here in the world lost in the sauce. Verse 4. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Which who is the God of this world? The God of this world is, is Hashatan. Okay? Which Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he comes in the spirit. He comes in the authority of Hashatan upon the earth. He's the physical counterpart of Satan upon the earth, man. Okay? Because Esau, he, he has also deceived the whole of the entire earth, man. You see, so he he has done the bidding of Satan upon the earth, okay? This is why it says, whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Esau pushed unto you what? White boy Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Esau pushed unto you a pale-faced God, okay? He told you that Roman Catholicism is the way. He Esau told you that um, heaven is, is, is when you die. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, suffer on, on earth, suffer being a slave. I'm going to feed your babies to alligators, you know. I'm going I'm to fillet your skin off you, and I'm going to make hands. Uh, uh, I'm going to make belts and shoes and handbags out of your skin, you know. I'm going to hang you from trees. I'm going to constantly demonize you with my media. This is what he's done, okay? So Esau, he's really the devil, man. Okay, he comes in the authority, the spirit of Satan. He is of his father, the devil, and the lust of his father he is doing, all right? Has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them, right? So because they reject Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because they reject the truth, guess what? They've been given over unto strong delusion. Okay, the Lord has given them over unto their uh, uh, strange and, and, and diverse lusts. Okay, ultimately because it's, it's the Lord's will that these people be destroyed. It tells you it tells you in the Apocrypha that uh, the multitudes of the people born upon the earth were born in vain, man. <laughs> the scriptures say that. It says that let the multitude perish then which were born in vain. So many people were just born in into the earth to eat, drink, be merry fulfill their particular lives whether it be that of being a sodomite whether it be that of you know being a murderer being uh created to be a spirit of vengeance you know whether it be created for people to just be um cesspools of of disease and just you know bugged out madness you know what i'm saying everybody is back in their lot in these days you see what i'm saying but the point is those that do not receive the glorious gospel of yahweh 
they can't receive it because it wasn't given to them in the first place. See, everything is predestined. You know, the Lord set all this up since before the foundations of the earth was even laid. So in today's time, we just going through the motions pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Verse five, for we preach not ourselves, but Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and ourselves, your servants for Yahweh Shai's sake. Verse six, for Yahweh who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh in the face of Yahweh Shai. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be Yahweh and not of us. You see, so we do not come with our own doctrine. We don't come with our own breakdowns and, you know, what we want it to be. No, we go, thus saith the Lord, line upon line, precept upon precept. That's how we understand the word, right? That's how we study. You see, because when you go from Genesis to, to, to Revelation, you have certain so-called Bible scholars of this world, right? They will point out, oh, well, this is an inconsistency. Oh, this right here, this is a, a, a what do they call it? What, what's that word? Um, a, a, a contradiction, right? This is a contradiction inside the Bible, right? But see, they don't understand the Bible because they don't read line upon line, precept upon precept. They'll just pull one scripture and, 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 and go to something else, which they think means the opposite of what that scripture means. And then they'll say, oh, well, the Bible is not true because it is that the third. Well, if, if the spirit was dealing with you, you would understand that from Genesis to Revelation, a lot of the same prophecies that, that, that were prophesied of repeat themselves, man. A lot of the same things that happened in the ancient world is happening again today. OK, it's not a different doctrine between the Old and the New Testament. As a matter of fact, you can't understand the New Testament without the Old Testament because the Old Testament is, is the foundation. Okay, the law and, and the prophets. When Yahweh Shah came on the scene, he didn't bring a new doctrine. Okay, all, all really that Yahweh Shah did was he made it more about the inward man. You know, uh, Yahweh Shah made it more about uh, being spiritual and not so more performing um, righteous acts in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah magnified the law, which means that, okay, instead of um, it being a sin to go out and commit adultery, which it is, you know, don't even think these things in your heart. Don't even put it in, in your mind to lay with another man's wife because everything starts from the spirit. Everything starts start from the heart, you know? So if you think it in, in your mind, then the flesh is going to follow. See, but Israelites back then didn't understand that. They just thought, oh yeah, well, if I just do these things in the flesh, then, then I'm good. But your spirit wasn't right though. You know what I'm saying? This is why the temple was destroyed. This is why that, that whole system was, 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 was taken away because Jake pretty much ran that into the ground. All right? Now, if you want forgiveness of sins, you know what I'm saying? If if, if uh, you want to repent, you have to go to Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? That's that's <laughs> that's the only way. It ain't, it, it ain't no other way, man. You know what I'm saying? There is no carnal way that you can um, atone for your sins. No, Yahweh Shai has to forgive you of, of your sins, man. Okay, you have to believe upon him in truth and sincerity. Okay, believe upon his sacrifice and, 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 and you know, believe that he is the son of the most high. You know, and, and then do your due diligence rehearsing the righteous acts, doing what the Lord commanded us to do. You know what I'm saying? That's how we get into the good graces of Yahweh Bashman was shot. Not doing our own thing, not creating our own doctrines, man. That's going off. You see? James 2 and 18. It says, yeah, a man may say, thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works and I will show thee my faith by my works. Yeah, God. So we show our faith towards Yahweh Bashem was shy by our works, man. Okay, the scriptures say that faith without works is dead and vice versa. You know, so if you claim that you believe, but you're not rehearsing the righteous acts, if you're not doing what the Lord told you to do, do you really believe? You know what I'm saying? Or if you're putting in the work, you know, if you're, uh, uh, you know, preaching the word, going out to the highways and, 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 you know, doing video epistles, but you don't truly believe upon the gospel, then really it's all being done in vain, man. You see what I'm saying? So, so you can't have one without the other. Both have to work uh, uh, in tandem with each other to produce that faith. You see? Which again... A lot of people do not have the capability, the the, the capacity to uh, be in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem or Shah because why? Their works are evil, okay? The people in this world, by and large, 
they 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 believe upon um be, being a sodomite you know uh they practice you know eating abominations you know they destroy the earth they they defile the earth okay all kind of wicked stuff is going on so you you know your vessel is so defiled the lord can't dwell in a, in a, in a uh, defiled vessel man you see the lord got to be dealing with you on that level to where he knows that you're really for him to where he knows that you know he that, that he can use you to bring forth the truth and that you're going to be an honorable vessel man okay because you have a lot of dishonorable vessels out here and the main uh dishonorable vessel is who esau edom <laughs> all right that's the main as, as a matter of fact esau he was created to be that vessel of of, of uh wrath fitted for destruction you know that's that's what esau is and even two-thirds of our people have taken on the same spirit of esau you know what i'm saying to where they follow after this man you know they perform his works you know what i'm saying which is leading them to their own demise all right this is um ezekiel 3 in verse 1 it says moreover he said unto me son of man eat that thou findest eat this roll and go speak unto the house of israel right so when it says eat this roll this means to um basically to digest the whole of of this word man okay because yahweh shah said what that he comes in the volume of the book so from genesis to revelation yahweh shah is all up in there and that's a cut to um you know jakes that that, that will say that oh yahweh shah is an idol that that he's not the son of the most high well when you go to the law and the prophets, they all spoke of the coming of Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh Shai was with the uh, the three holy children when they was thrown into the fiery furnace. And even when you go to uh, the description that it gives of Yahweh Shai, which is the son of man in Revelation, it says that, that um, uh, his feet were like uh, uh, brass as if they burned in a furnace, right? So that shows you that Yahweh Shai, he was with his men in in the fiery furnace man you know that's that's a clue right there you know what i'm saying but again if the lord ain't dealing with you you're not gonna see that you know what i'm saying you're 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 not gonna accept that because you have your own um idea of what the truth should be or you know you have your own agenda or you're just an anti hamashiach you really hate the most high and and, and you hate yahweh Shah. that's that's all verse two so i open my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with them my words. Okay, so we are supposed to um, eat the whole roll, man. Okay, we're not supposed to um object certain parts of the scripture or 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 try to um you know make it what we want to be no we come in with thus saith the lord okay and this is why when you deal with christians in these other uh denominations they they don't believe upon the scriptures thus saith the lord you know what I'm saying they believe in the doctrines of men so when you come with that say of the lord you know like uh the elders and apostles always say you know everyone's a christian until the scriptures come out <laughs> you know everyone's a christian until the truth of the bible comes out man now everybody has questions as a matter of fact this is why now they burn in the bible okay because the truth has came out you know uh uh, uh your boy putin then open up the vaults in um russia you know now everyone sees that the lord is a so-called black man that, that uh all of the disciples, you know, uh, the prophets who were so-called, um, you know, Negroes. Now you got Edomites burning the Bible because why? They're, you know, going back to the point of building your foundation upon a rock rather than sand. Their foundation was built upon sand. So now that the truth is coming out, now that the truth is, is prevailing um, past the lies, now their whole foundation is done. You know what I'm saying? Now they got to, they they really don't know how to deal with it. So their their reaction is, damn, like we was told a lie all this time. Like God is black, man. F that. I'm about to burn this Bible. That's 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 how they getting down, you know. But it's all good though, man, because all this was prophesied to happen. You know what I'm saying? This is all the will 
of the Lord coming forth. Let's see here. We can close out on um, Luke 21. And uh, let's, let's, let's get 14, right? This is Luke 21 and 14. Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. Verse 15, for I will give you a mouth of wisdom, a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Okay, so the Lord has given us a mouth to, to speak the words of prophecy, to speak the truth, in which now our enemies, our adversaries cannot gainsay nor resist. Why? Because when you look out into the world once again, everything that we've been seeing is coming to pass, man. It's all happening, okay? We're in a time where the MOTB is here, right? World War Three is here. Famine is here. Uh, 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 rampant inflation, you know, um, mass crime, mass death, all the things that, that the prophets spoke about that Yahweh Shai, you know, warned us of, is happening in today's time. So you know what? No one can come up and scoff and gainsay against what the true men of the Lord are saying. All you can really do is accept it. You know what I'm saying? That's all you can do. And, 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 and mind you, we're so close to the end. In fact, that there is no no way that you can buck up against what what we're saying okay because what else is there what you going you going to close your ears and then close your eyes and put your head in uh, the damn sand man no you can't ignore what's going on you can't explain why i believe it was in canada right um somewhere in canada like 2000 some earthquakes went off within 24 hours you can't explain that that that's that, that that's a direct correlation to biblical prophecy you see what I'm saying? The love of many wax and cold. You know what I'm saying? People just being bugged out their mind, just 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 straight up satanic and, and demonic, man. This is what the scriptures speak of. So when you hear the men of the Lord speak about the things going on in this earth and what's to come, if you know what's good for you, if you're wise, you would take heed to what we're saying. Okay, because you can see that, that, that hey, what they're talking about right now it's happening so what they're speaking of to come in the future that's going to happen as well that's what a wise person would do you know what i'm saying which is is those of you um brothers and sisters that's watching this right now okay you would be the wise okay the the, the people in this world that walk on by that disregard the word they would they are foolish man because when these things come upon them they're not going to have any comfort they're um they're not going to have no type of way to really understand what's going on or, or, or to find any rest. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be down and out. They're going to be done. You see what I'm saying? Meanwhile, we're going to be chilling. You know, uh, the Lord going to take care of us. The Lord going to feed us. The Lord going to give us shelter. The Lord is going to protect us from our enemies. He, he's he's going to protect us from spirits of vengeance that are out here in this world, man. Meanwhile, many people are perishing. Okay? Many people are losing their their life in this world, they're losing their possessions, they're losing uh, their life, they're losing their sanity, losing jobs, losing everything. And they ain't got nothing to show for them. See what I'm saying? But those of us that have invested in the spirit, those of us that are inclined towards Jehovah Bashman Washiah, we have a greater promise to come. See, this is not the end all be all for us. Yeah, this world is shit. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this world is, is, is straight up BS, man. This is why we're looking forward to a new rule on the earth in which, you know, there's going to be righteousness, man. Okay, wickedness is going to be put out, righteousness is going to be established, and life on the earth is going to flourish. You know what I'm saying? We hope to be a part of that that great reunion, okay, where we're going to be reunited with uh, Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? To where, you know, we're, we're going to be united with our brothers, okay, which are the angels, man. You know, it's really the kingdom of heaven, is going to be one big family reunion, man. Okay, even the two-thirds that get killed on this side, they're going to come back in the kingdom, and they're going to be good. You see what I'm saying? We, uh, we're going to have slaves. We're going to have servants in, in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to never have to lift another finger again, man. Okay, we're, 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 we're going to be judges over the earth. You know, the Lord's going to give us spiritual power. You know, which a lot of these groups, man, they don't even speak about spiritual power. You see, you see what I'm saying? Uh, they're 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 telling you to go along to get along in this world. They're they're telling you to, in so many words, right, bow down to to, to Esau and what he's about to bring. You know, they're not spiritually inclined. They don't really believe in anything past this world, man. 
but it's coming. You know, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. Hopefully, uh, this lesson was edifying to the Rakah Kadash in closing. Call Allah, Bashim, Bashim, And until next time, Lord willing, shalom to the elect.